I know I did this to you guys twice already, so I don't want to do this to you guys the third time. Let's take a look of the set of all the positive integers. So I'll write this down right here with the notation z plus, okay? And as we know, this is just the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on forever. And the moment that you look at this set as how it is, you see that it seems like the ratio of the even numbers to the whole positive integers is equal to one half, right? Because every two numbers, one of them is going to be even, every two of them, one of them is even. So the ratio of the even numbers is going to be one half. However, this is not the only way to arrange the set of positive integers because you can also do it this way. You can also put this down as 1, 3, 2, and then 5, 7, 4. And I'm not going to put down too many numbers because you guys know the deal already. So let me just put down dot, dot, dot. In fact, this is one way to list out all the positive integers, okay? And if you look at the set of all the integers right here as how it is, it seems like the ratio of the even numbers is equal to one third because every three numbers, we have an even number, right, inside of them. Every three numbers, only one of them is even. So the even numbers right here, the ratio is equal to one third. Okay, so it's really strange to certain extent, right? And some people may still be disagreed thing with us that, okay, I haven't put down the six here. Where's the six? Or where's the nine? Or so on. But you know, I will leave that to you, those people. Because this kind of gets too boring a little bit. So I will show you guys another one. Let's look at the alternating harmonic series, which is the following. We know that 1 minus 1 half plus 1 third minus 1 fourth plus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 6 and so on, okay? And this is famously equal to the number ln2, which is approximately 0 0.693 and so on. Now, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to write down 1 first, and then next I will put down plus 1 third. And then I will bring down minus 1 half. And then I'm going to put down plus 1 over 5. Take a guess what am I going to put down next. I will put down plus 1 over 7. And then minus 1 over 4, okay? And this will keep on happening the same way. I will just put down dot, 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 okay? So it's pretty much the same style, that kind of thing, isn't it? What's the answer to this? Well, this, in fact, is equal to 3 half times ln2, right? Earlier, it was just ln2, but this right here, if you look at the series as in this order, this right here, I can argue with you guys that it's indeed equal to 3 over 2 times ln2. Surprising, huh? This right here, I would like to see if this, anybody will you know, write down any whatever comments in the comment section, pause the video, and think about if you agree or disagree with this result right here, okay? Okay, this time, it's not that easy anymore, isn't it? But anyway, I'll explain to you guys how we can end up with the result 3 over 2 times ln2, okay? So first of all, once again, this is the alternating harmonic series, and we know this is equal to ln2. Why? Well, you can look at how we derive the uh, series for ln of 1 minus x or 1 plus x. Either one is okay, but you know, I will leave that to you guys later on. Okay, so let's take a look at this series. The truth to this series is that this is, yes, convergent, but it's only conditional convergent. And unfortunately, when we only have a conditionally convergent series, in fact, we can actually rearrange the terms to make it add up to anything that you want, okay? So this is how we can end up with 3 over 2 times ln2. So let's take a look of this, and first, I will multiply everything by 1 half, okay? So let me just go ahead, multiply everything by 1 half. And now, when I put on the result, after I multiply this out, I will do it carefully. 1 half times 1, it's 1 half. And let me put it down right here. 1 half, and that's positive. And then 1 half, so let's keep track. 1 half times 1, it's this already. Next, I will have to do 1 half times negative 1 half, which is negative 1 over 4, and let me put it down right here, okay? I will have some space in between. You will see why. Next, 1 half times positive 1 third, it's positive 1 over 6. Let me just write it down, plus 1 over 6. 
And then we'll continue. This times this, it's negative 1 over 8. And let me just write it down, 1 over 8, negative right here. And yes, I know, we have to keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. However, I can just tell you, let's go ahead and put down plus da da da. So this is still legitimate, right? Okay. At the very end, don't forget to multiply this and that. 1 half times ln2 is what? It's just half of ln2, isn't it? Okay, so you can see the deal. 1 half minus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6 minus 1 over 8 and so on. This is equal to 1 half times ln2. It's just half of the result, right? And now, let me put down the original once again. The original is 1 minus 1 half plus 1 is just ln2, like this. And let's look at these two things now, and we will add them up, okay? Now, you see, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 half minus 1 half, they cancel out. And then next, this is blank plus 1 third. So it's just plus 1 third, isn't it? So let's put down plus 1 third. And then this, this negative 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 is what? Negative 2 over 4. Simplify the fractions, yeah? So that's negative 1 half, okay? And then we will write down plus 0 plus that, which is 1 fifth. This and that cancel out, so it doesn't really matter anymore. I will put down plus 1 over 7. And now what's this and that? Negative 1 over 8 minus 1 over 8 is negative 2 over 8, which is negative... <laughs> That's reduce the fraction. 1 over 4, okay? And this process will keep on going forever. We can add the left-hand side. We can also add the right-hand side. This is equal to... Both of this has ln2. This is 1 half. This is 1 times that, right? 1 half plus 1 is 3 half. And then don't forget, you keep the term ln2 right here. So you see, 1 plus 1 third minus 1 half plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 7 minus 1 over 4 and so on. This is equal to 3 half times ln2. And this is the bizarre part when you have a conditional convergent series. In fact, you can just play around with it. You can just rearrange the term like this right here and make it equal to something else, all right? So anyway, hopefully you guys like this video. That's it.